Liev Schreiber has been the bad guy in the Scream series and in X-Men Origins, Wolverine. Now he has his first starring role on TV. He's Knockout. He plays a Hollywood fixer with a complicated family history in the new series. It's called Ray Donovan. He plays Ray Donovan. It's on Showtime, which is owned by CBS. Here's a look. What I'm going to tell you now is the important thing. You got to listen to me and you got to trust me. My father coming here. You let him near this family, everything we worked for, everything we built, it'll be over. Whatever you think happened, it was ten times worse. Don't let the wolf in the gate, Abby. Oh, don't let the wolf at the gate, happy. Liam Schreiber joins us at the table. We want to talk about Ray Donovan, but join, help us with your, your definition of happiness to follow up on our happiness conversation. What's your contribution? I have? saw a wonderful documentary called Happy, and I guess this applies loosely to Ray Donovan, and it said that one of the underpinnings of our happiness is doing things for other people. It's true. That this affects us in a way that we, we feel appreciated and we feel necessary, we feel like our mm -hmm. existence is essential, mm -hmm. and that that somehow comes from generosity and charity, and yeah. I thought that that was worth mentioning after yes. you guys were going on mm -hmm. about assets mm -hmm. and all. And we also know that that's also very true, which is sort of, it does, uh, it does speak to Ray Donovan for a little bit, but right now, he's such a flawed, deep, complicated dude. He blurs the lines between right and wrong, but also he has a sense of right and wrong. Is he a dark guy for you? Yeah, no, it's odd talking about happiness with Ray because he's <laughs> not a very happy guy. But I think there's, a, there's an, un, uh, and, and Bitterman, the, the show's creator and writer, um, gave him an underpinning of morality that I think is really interesting and conflicted. And well, so. He's a Hollywood fixer, what does that mean? He works for a high-end law firm, um, uh, uh, fixing the problems of Hollywood's elite, athletes, actors, mm -hmm. people like that, studio executives. And every once in a while, there are problems that fall outside of the legal yes. <laughs> boundaries of what one can do, and they, then they call Ray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He sounds a little bit like George Clooney's character in that movie, which yeah. you played. It is similar. It is yeah. similar. Yeah. And th what's interesting about this to me is that you're seeing really great television coming from Showtime and HBO and Netflix. Yeah. It's really happening in terms of the business you're in. I was shocked. Um, you know, script after script was just really remarkable yeah. on, on our first season. And, and also the production value. You know, one yeah. of the difficult things is like sure. shooting 12 one-hour films over yeah. the course of a year or so. Because, Leah, you said there was a time you wouldn't even think of doing television because you didn't want to do the same thing over and over again. Well, that's the problem. I mean, you know, what I, the, the, what I struggle with in theater is that, you know, eight shows a week for three months of the same character drives you insane. And one of the things that's great about serial television is that the character develops and the character grows and you can almost work <clears throat> in parallel with them mm -hmm. while you go. How good is Matt Blank, the CEO of Showtime? He's amazing. <laughs> Uh, uh, just a note about Shakespeare. Uh, is there any Shakespeare that you desperately want to play that you haven't played? Oscar Eustace and I have been talking about Coriolanus. Uh, downtown, yeah. Right. About Oscar Eustace, who runs the public theater. Right. Uh, where, um, um, have been talking about? Coriolanus. Oh, really? Oh. It's a yeah. tricky play, though. Yeah. And, and it was been, a recent film with Rafe. Which I thought was terrific. Yeah. I thought it was really good. good um, so we've been talking about that a lot. and. Uh, mm -hmm. Hopefully, maybe getting that into the park at some point. I just did something with Johnny Depp, and, and he said that Marlon Brando said to him, you have to play Hamlet. You go do it. Take a year off to do it, but you got to do it. Something you've done. It's a tricky role, that one, you know, because you can't, you know, we the audience is... Uh, mm -hmm. right. I'm adding you now to my playlist, Ray. <laughs> Ray Donovan with E.F. Schreiber. It's really, really good. It's one of those addictive TV shows, I promise you. It premieres this Sunday. Nice to see you. Thank